Hey, you're David Sparrow Phelps. Look at the second thoughts today on the P51 UMX Voodoo. Yes, we don't usually do second thoughts on UMX planes, but this one is just so good, we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, without further ado, this thing ground handles better than any UMX we've pretty much ever worked with, which is pretty awesome. The wind is at our right side, even though the flag appears to be the other way. Here we go. Get up on the mains. Oh, what a beautiful takeoff. That was like a 30% throttle. And just to be 100% clear, it is not dead calm, and this is a UMX. And look how nice this thing is doing. And then watch this. Watch the ups, folks. Amazing. Okay, coming in hot, you good? Mm -hmm. You can barely even hear the thing. Okay, and then I'll bring it low so we can avoid the sun. Let's go about 15 steps up toward the driveway. At your convenience. So folks, if you haven't ever flown a UMX, you may not have a good appreciation for just how small they are or just how amazing they are. This one in particular is just a powerhouse. And to be honest with you, on 3S, 300 milliamp hour, it'll go for a long time and you will really, really enjoy the flight performance. Look at the envelope. Look how you can go from being unlimited vertical to slow down and just cruising along like a Sport Cub UMX. Only difference is you've got enough power and authority to get out of hot water when you need to. And guys, I gotta tell you, the AS3X and safe is just the ticket for people that are newer into the hobby. And I'm sure probably what some of you are thinking is, I wish it was, look how fast that thing is. It's just incredible. Some of you guys are probably thinking, I want it to look like a warbird and not a racing bird. And I definitely feel your pain because I wish this was a military livery. And I have sneaky suspicion that it's going to be available at some point. But for now, can you, uh, can you at least admit how amazing the thing flies? Perfect clouds for filming, by the way, right, camera crew? Yes. Let's give something for the backdrop. All I got to go on. Yeah, these UMXs are hard, hard turn. The cool thing about this plane is because it's so light, light and docile, you can do whatever you want, even when you're low. And the thing is, don't be deceived. Small planes are not always easy to fly because usually they're not very good flying and we are flying at about 10 mile an hour wind right now with gusts well let's say gust to 10 let's say constant at about five mm -hmm. let's do some touch and goes something you can't normally do with umx planes you're a manned aircraft and it's low actually let's let's go ahead and go back over here and just keep it nice and low I suppose it's a combine I'm hearing. It's possible that it's because I was gonna say it sounds low on the, on the highway. Oh man, with the wind, not gonna do that. So, folks, even with the UMX, you gotta still respect the wind. You especially have to respect the wind. So, I'm really forcing the nose down here. Zero percent throttle. There we go. Touch and go, sort of. Look at that, guys. That's insane. Camera crew, you gonna make it? Maybe. <laughs> Need some dream, I mean. No kidding. So if you guys are looking for a really, really good plane to get that you can just toss that thing in the back of the car or in the front of the car or in the side of the car, and just go around and have a, a big warbird experience without having a big airplane. Look no further than the P51 UMX from Horizon Hobby here, an E-Flight product. 
And also, don't forget to support us by buying the planes from our links when you do. It really does help us. That's how we fund our channel after all. That's our timer. And if you guys want to support us alternatively because you don't like buying from the links or you've got some other hold up there, maybe you've already got this plane, you want something else we've reviewed in the recent history, then all you have to do is click one of the links down below for another plane. Here we go. It's kind of an absence of wind. Let's see if we can, woo! Oh man, the P factor got me on that one. There was some wind that kind of came up and kicked me right as I was about to touch down. I was like, oh, it's going to be perfect. But what I was saying is there's also links for Patreon and PayPal right there. And then don't forget folks, when you're flying these ultra micros, they're so dang fast. You have to give yourself room to slow down. And so I'm going to go around and kind of do a base leg real low. Whoa, whoa. Did you guys see that craziness? Oh yeah. So we lost one of our gear door again. Okay, so we're 56 minutes past or 56 seconds past or five. So that was a six minute flight time. Not bad. It's a respectable flight time for a UMX. And to be honest with you, as much as I was doing with it, Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. And I just want to show you, if you ever have a gear door pop off on this particular aircraft, very simple design. There's plastic that receives a pin, and then this clips on. So if you look at the bottom here, you've got this little doohickey that's spinning. This clips in, just like that. And then that doohickey actually sticks in right into the gear door from the bogey. And then you have the support from the bogey into the gear door. Pretty sweet, right? And these things are nice and robust and that's not something we're used to. In fact, we have kind of a detailed landing gear, which is something we're not used to seeing. So guys, if you haven't already checked out this UMX P51, is one of the best on the market. I love the thing, flies amazing. Very easy peasy. Of course, we got the opener down here that covers up where the battery goes. And that's something that we have not had in the past. And just having that little cover is a big deal. Obviously, no flaps, no LEDs, which is a bummer. But the truth is you're not gonna find a lot of LEDs on UMX planes, short of possibly the turbo timber, which is one of my favorite UMX planes. If you don't have that in your hangar, you need to get it like yesterday. It's one of the best. But I would say that this is definitely a close second. The UMX pits on 3S is amazing as well. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, check them out in the playlist. If you don't know how to find the playlist, you can do a search, just click on my face icon somewhere and then it'll bring you to our channel. And you can search our channel for any of the playlist if you want, or you can head over to www.brianphillipsrc.com and you can search there too as well. We have them organized by manufacturer mostly is our biggest sort method. Um, but you can find the playlist for any of these planes that we've reviewed in the past. And there are a plethora of them. So if you guys like this, don't forget to smash the like button. It really does help us on the algorithm uh, with the uh, bots that try to destroy small channels like ours on Google. But uh, we appreciate you for fighting back for the little guy. Thank you. But also stay tuned. There's so much to come for Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching.